some other work that you can do ahead of time. Tees and corners. For a corner of a room, any place that you have a corner, you build a corner and it is made of three full length studs, spacer blocks that go here. I'll show how these go together in a second. The other object that you need to make is made of the same parts. It's called a tee. It's made the same way, or out of the same materials, three full length studs and three blocks. And then the blocks laying flat between the two boards, they're uh, on edge between the two boards. And just imagine you had a, a wall and you want to make another wall come out of that wall. That's, that's what you would use this piece for. I cut out all my blocks ahead of time. I uh, cut the blocks a little bit longer for the tees than I do for the corners. About 20 inches or so for the tees and around 14 to 16 inches for the corners. The um, See how I went in and just kind of pre-nailed my nails in a little bit, started them on the... Uh, you can only do that for the corners though. Yeah. Do straightest lumber for the corners and tees because you want to be able to square the rest of the rooms up off the corners. So you want to get straight lumber and then uh, the only other thing to worry about is be sure you get all the um, end pieces square at the ends and aligned accurately. Got the box nailed in the first time. Just put the next board on top. Line it up good. Nail it in. Last board, turn everything on its edge. Last board goes on top over. A row of uh, spacer blocks and, and one of the uh, good two by fours, leaving the other one hanging out to use as a nailer for sheetrock or whatever you choose to cover your walls with. I'm going to start my nails, but if you get an air nailer, you don't need to do that. For the tees, I found that it's easier for me to take an extra block, put it crossways under the board, just to uh, hold it in the right position while I'm doing the rest of the box. Uh, keep it from wobbling around on me quite so much. Start nailing again from the other side. Then you flip the whole thing over, spacer blocks facing up take the last board and just nail it on top of those, directly to those, and that'll leave nailers on each side of that top full piece uh, for you to nail sheetrock and whatever on the next one will we'll also go out from that way. And load them on the truck and you're ready to go.